Good morning, all. Suburban Sentinel here, coming to you once again from very deep inside the Arabian Peninsula. This is a prepping-related video I've been meaning to make for a long time now. And the subject is dealing with those individuals who have a severe disdain for preppers and prepping. And I oftentimes have a conversation with these individuals that goes something like the following. Oh, you're one of those prepper guys. Uh, you're waiting for the end of the world or a, a huge catastrophe or war. right? You're just a sociopath and can't wait to go around killing people and seeing your friends, relatives, neighbors, and countrymen die in some type of widespread emergency. You just can't wait for this to happen so you can grab your rifle and your tins of spam and go running around in the woods. And my response is usually something like the following. Uh, yes, you're right. I cannot wait until there is an SHTF or a catastrophe, but not for the reasons you state. Uh, the reality is that a widespread emergency is not in any way, shape, or form a fantasy. It is almost a foregone conclusion. Uh, the cold realities uh, are that the political systems in control of most countries right, are too corrupt, the economic systems are too unsustainable, and our physical infrastructure is too weak to withstand the vagaries of a very quickly changing planet. I believe that we are going to have an SHTF scenario sooner rather than later, so I'm treating this as an inevitability rather than a possibility. Personally, I am not looking forward to an SHTF or catastrophic scenario for the joy of experiencing it. Rather, I am looking beyond the event. Uh, I don't want to just survive a catastrophe. I want to be one of the people who use the catastrophe as the impetus for making real changes. Now, we preppers are generally people of insight and wisdom who can look beyond today, look beyond a catastrophe, and be part of the solution. Einstein said we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. Now, I believe that many of us, not all of us, but most preppers can be part of the solution. And we are looking forward to a catastrophe or an SHTF event, again, not for the pleasure that we might somehow derive from a catastrophe that affects us and our families. Rather, this is something we see as a duty to help rebuild whatever systems fail when it becomes clear that those systems, as designed, are no good. So my question to you, sir or madam, is which side of thinking are you going to be on? So that's my conversation. Uh, I hope this helps some of you in dealing with uh, those who don't, at least for now, share our attitudes toward emergency preparedness. Thanks for watching. This is the Suburban Sentinel. Please thumbs up, share, and subscribe if you like what you see. Questions, enlightening comments, and differing opinions are always welcome. Prep and be safe, everybody.